All right, looking at writing quadratic equations. All right, we are going to come up with a quadratic from a few points that they've given us. Okay, so I will tell you to write a quadratic equation, you really need to have three points unless they're giving you a specific, uh, like a special point, like the vertex maybe. Okay, and then in that case, you could make by with just two. But if you, in general, you can write a quadratic from any three points. But to start with, we're gonna be nice and easy and they're going to give you special points here. So question number one says write the equation of a quadratic function with roots at 4 and negative 1. Okay, well 4 and negative 1, that tells me if those are my roots, I can use root form to write my quadratic equation. So remember, my equation is going to be y equals some number times x minus my roots. So minus 4 and x minus a negative 1 or plus 1. Okay. So that's technically two points that they've given you. Here is your third. f of 0 equals 8. So they're telling you when x equals 0, y equals 8. I can use this, plug it into my equation to solve for this a value, that constant that's going to be in front. So let's do that. 8 equals some number times 0 minus four and zero plus what? Okay, that tells me eight equals a times negative four times one. So eight equals negative four a dividing by negative four a equals negative two. Okay, I'm gonna let you just leave this equation in root form. So that tells me y equals negative two is my a value, x minus four times x plus what? If we were going to put this in standard form, the only thing we'd have to do here is multiply this out and then distribute the negative 2 through the entire equation. Okay. Question number 2, very similar, except this one has a double root at 4. What does that tell me? That tells me that my two factors are both, my two roots are both 4. So I'm going to do an x minus 4 and an x minus 4. Okay, now you do have the option to do an x minus 4 squared, but I'm going to leave this in root form, so I'm going to leave that just like that. Again, x is negative 1 when y is 5. Plug that in. 5 equals a times negative 1 minus 4 times negative 1 minus 4. That's 5 equals a times negative 5 times negative 5, or 5 equals 25a. How do I finish solving that? I'm going to divide by 25 and reduce, a is going to be 1 fifth. So again, your equation y equals 1 fifth of x minus 4 times x minus 4, or if you prefer, you could write x minus 4 squared. Again, to put it in standard form, I could, I could FOIL this out and distribute the 1 fifth, but that would be ugly, so I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. What about from a picture? How can you write the equation? Again, it says in root form. So we're looking for our roots. Well, do you remember what the roots of an equation are? Those are your x-intercepts. So it looks like I have an x-intercept here at negative 1, at positive 1, I'm sorry, positive 1, I was getting ahead of myself, 2, and positive 3. So if those are your roots. Again, what is your equation? y equals a times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Again, here's your x, here's your y. Plug it in, 0 minus 1, 0 minus 3, or negative 12 equals a times negative 1 times negative 3, or equals 3a. What is a equal? Negative 4. Again, what is your equation? Negative 4 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. All right, so that's when they give you the root form. What about when they give you vertex form, or the vertex of the equation? Again, this is kind of a special case. It doesn't happen that often, but when they do give you the vertex, you can write the equation just from that vertex and one other point. Okay, so first, remember in vertex form, this is going to be your h, this is going to be your k. So this tells me y equals a times x minus 3 squared plus 1. Similar thing, I can plug in x and y and solve it for a. So negative 13 equals a times negative 4 minus 3 squared plus 1. 
what is step one going to be? Subtract the one to the other side. Okay, so that's a little bit different from the last equation. Okay, you have to, have to, have to, have to. I've seen it a million times. People don't do this. You have to subtract the negative one to the other side first before you try to finish solving for a. Now, I can go ahead and say, well, that's just going to be 7, and 7 squared is 49a. And now finish your equation. Now you can divide. Okay, when I reduce that, that's going to be a negative 2 sevenths. So my equation, y equals negative 2 sevenths of x minus 3 squared plus 1. Similar thing on the next one. Why don't you try to work it out on your own? Remember, h, k, y equals a times x plus 1 squared minus 6. Again, plug in your x, plug in your y. 6 equals a times 5 plus 1 squared minus 6. What is step 1? Please add that 6 to the other side. 12 equals a times 6 squared, or 36a, divide by the 36. a equals 1 third. Again, your equation. Last question. They've given you the vertex right here. Your vertex is at negative 2, negative 2. So your equation, x plus 2 squared minus 2. Again, plug in x and y. Step 1, add the 2. 2 plus 0 is 2 squared is 4. a equals 3 fourths. Right out of room. <laughs>